Hi there, Colin Gwynn here with DJI. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at unboxing the Phantom and getting it ready to fly. For that, you'll need one Phillips head screwdriver, four AA batteries, and your Phantom. So let's take a look at what's inside. As you can see, it's pretty much 100% assembled for you. You just need to do a few things. We'll attach our landing gear, our GoPro mount, install the propellers, charge the battery, and we'll be ready to fly. So the first thing you'll pull out of the box is the main frame of the Phantom. Next, you've got your transmitter, the battery for the Phantom, the charger and cables to charge the battery, international power adapter if you need it, the GoPro mount, your two landing skids, six propellers, you'll use four and you'll have two remaining for spares, the screws and the propeller tool. So the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and charge your battery. That way, as we assemble the rest of the airframe, the battery will be charging and we'll be closer to flight time. So we'll go ahead and undo the battery charger here. All you have to do is take the plug that comes with your battery charger, plug it into a wall socket. Then you'll notice there's a cable here so you'll want to go ahead and plug the red into the red, the black into the black, and then on the battery itself, you'll see there are two sets of cables, your power cable and your balance tap. So you'll want to plug the power cable into the appropriate connector on the charger. And then on the charger, on the side, you'll see there are balance ports. So you want to find the one that says 3S and plug your 3S balance tap right there. Once you do that, you want to make sure that the LiPo switch is set to LiPo, not to LIFE. You want it on LiPo. And then we'll see here that on your, on your power switch here, you can have this set anywhere from 1 amps to 3 amps, just depending on how quickly you want to charge the battery. 3 amps is totally fine. And you'll see that you have three lights here indicating that you have a 3S battery plugged in and charging. Okay, great. So now that our battery's charging, we'll go ahead and get started on assembling the rest of the airframe. The first thing you'll want to do is take your landing gear. We'll flip over the main frame. And I want you guys to notice on one of the landing gear, we have a little backpack containing the digital compass. That way it removes it from the rest of the electronics so there's no interference. So we'll go ahead and untape this little cable here. There's a little five pin adapter that we're going to run right up the larger hole, run it right inside there, and then the other four holes that attach the landing gear to the main frame will all be lined up for you. So we'll just take out four screws, You've got your Phillips head screwdriver, So after you attach those four screws, then you take your connector for the compass, simply plug it in there. We've included some tape in the bag that contains the prop wrench that you can use to tape that down. The next landing skid is going to go right over the antenna for the receiver. So this is how your transmitter talks to the Phantom. So you'll want to run your receiver antenna up through this large hole and then line up your, your four screws. We'll take our Phillips head screwdriver. And 
install these four screws. Again, you can tape in your receiver antenna here. So next, while it's still upside down, we'll go ahead and take the GoPro mount. And you'll see in the, on the front of the aircraft, there's two holes that match up with the two holes on the GoPro mount. So we'll take two screws. Okay. Now we can go ahead and flip her over. And the final step for the mainframe assembly will be to attach the four propellers. So we'll go ahead and pull out the propellers from two of the packages. Each package contains a counterclockwise and a clockwise rotation propeller. Each propeller has a little marking on it telling you that it's either counterclockwise or clockwise. And we'll match those markings up with the arms on the Phantom that tell you the same thing, either clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. So go ahead and take my clockwise rotation propeller with my clockwise rotation frame arm, remove the propeller nut, line up the grooves on the propeller with the grooves to the, on the propeller shaft so that it fits in nice and firm. Then tighten down the nut, go ahead and grab our propeller wrench from the bag to get it nice and snug. Next one is a counterclockwise rotation. As you can see, I've got my counterclockwise marking here, my counterclockwise marking there on the propeller. Line up the propeller shaft so that the prop sits down on there nice and snug. Tighten up the nut. Do the same thing with the other two. Match your counterclockwise with counterclockwise. Tighten it up. And clockwise with clockwise. Nice and tight. And you've now finished the assembly of the airframe for the Phantom. Next, we'll take our four AA batteries install them into the transmitter. Check that it powers on. Great. So with our charger, we can see here that our charging is complete. So we'll simply detach the two cables. There's a door here in the front of the Phantom. You'll just reach in, pull out the connector here. Now, the, the order of operations here is that you wanna go ahead and turn on your transmitter first with the throttle all the way down. Then plug in your Phantom. Slide the battery inside. Close the battery compartment, and literally within minutes of opening the box of the Phantom, we're ready to fly. Now, in the next video, we're gonna take a look at doing a little bit more advanced flight and what you should be doing for your first flight with the Phantom. So, we'll see you then.